y'all already see the title and I'm not gonna lie y'all I've been feeling to make this video because I feel like I've been addicted to like skincare and all different types of stuff like that I've been like literally out of my mind so this video is way overdue or whatever so we're just gonna get straight into it y'all we gotta get into skin body and fragrances and I'm not gonna lie I kind of want to make this a series where I just do my favorites such as like electronics or hair tools hair products stuff like that so if y'all want me to make this a uh, my favorite series then make sure y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all want to see all right so first let's start with the face So when it comes to my face, I try not to do too, too much, to be honest, because I have really sensitive skin. So it's like I kind of got to take it easy and I have to use what works for me. It varies by the person, it varies by the skin type, skin texture, etc., etc. So I kind of just stick to what I know. So on an everyday basis, immediately, y'all, I'm using my Clean and Clear Morning Burst. This, I have been using this. My best friend put me onto this in like 2019. I've been using this every single day since November 8th. 2019 every single day this is the only thing i really wash my face with that's an instant go-to it has little beads inside of it and stuff it smells really good they have a nighttime version but i'm not gonna lie i never really tried it to be honest i don't know why i just use this at nighttime anymore and i really don't care but if you use the nighttime version make sure you let me know i know it has a different smell to it but i'm pretty sure that's all of this but yeah this is what i use on my face for more so everyday basis and then when i do get tired of this i'll show y'all that in a second to moisturize my face, we got a couple things, okay? So I have the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion for dry skin. And honestly, I use this because it doesn't have any oil in it. When it comes to my face, I don't want anything with oil in it because my nose get real shiny, y'all, and I don't got time. That's so not cute, and every time I look, I just ugh, be ready to throw up. So this is perfect for me. Honestly, I don't even use this on my body, which I know will probably be mo very moisturizing for my body, but I need this just for my face. Y'all, I just be having a whole lot of stuff going on between my face and my body, but... This is a go-to, it never let me down. None of these ever broke me out, ever, and I've been using them for so long. I've been using this, like I said, for three years, and, well, four years at this point. And I've been using a set of fill for about, um, almost two years at this point, so they've been doing me pretty good. I have sensitive and I have combination skin, so this has been working really good for me, and it leaves me very, it leaves me very, very moisturized, just minus the shine. The next cleanser I use for my face on a like time to time basis, I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I'm running out, that's why it's kinda like time to time, but the coat of skin, I honestly have, y'all, coat of skin, I got the cleanser, I got the toner, I got the cream, ooh, bumba, the eye mask, and I even got the oil, but I don't really use the like serum, I don't use that, like I said, I stick to what I know, I kinda just bought it just because, but I don't know, I probably might use it, can you use serums for your body? I'm probably not. And I'm not gonna lie with the coat of skin. You know, I've seen the girls from Owen it. I've also been using coat of skin since I moved to this apartment, to be honest. So, for about a year, I've been using coat of skin. And this, this right here, y'all, this is so good. And you know, I'm a little bit hesitant because I know I'm an influencer too. And I know it could be hard to convince somebody to buy something because you're an influencer and stuff like that. But I've seen a lot of the girls using it. But what I do when I'm looking to purchase a product that like an influencer is promoting or whatever the case may be, I look at the comments and I want to see real reviews. Because I'm not saying their review isn't valid, but a lot of people just take the money and go, I'm not going to lie, y'all, I'm guilty. I do it with the hair. Everything else, yeah. But with the hair, honestly, you wouldn't even hear me make a review because I don't wear the hair long enough. But with everything else, I don't play that. So it's just kind of like, when I looked in them comments and they was like, oh my God, it works. You know, they post a lot of before and after photos. So that really helped as well. I was like, all right, boom, I'm gonna try it. This is a really good cleanser. But I will say, although I've been using this for a year, I haven't been using it every single day. I didn't want to use up too much of it and then it'll be gone. So I was just like, I'm gonna just use it for specific times or whatever the case may be. And as you can see, honestly, I think it has like a, I can't really explain it, but look, I'm literally running out. I wish I would be able to tell. There's literally no way to tell, but y'all, I'm running out of this. Now, when it comes to the cream, if I'm not using that Cetaphil, I'm definitely using a CBD cream, and I'm not gonna lie, this is what I've been using as of lately every single day when I wash my face, and this is another moisturizer that does not make my face oily, but it moisturizes so good, y'all. This moisturizer is so good. I'm not gonna lie, y'all need to get y'all some coat of skin. I'm not gonna lie, they need to sponsor me because I keep talking about these coat of skin products and I need a sponsor, okay? I need a sponsor. I also occasionally use the rose mask. Um, you, This is how much I have left, so not too much, but I use this when I'm doing like an in-depth skincare routine because I don't really feel like it's necessary to use this every single day, to be honest, like it's not that serious. But 
I use this from time to time, and I think it's pretty good. It smells good, and it's cute. I don't really see a major difference with this, but definitely the CBD cleanser and the cream, fire, 100%. Next, we have a brand that's near and dear to my heart. This is another brand that needs to sponsor me because at this point, at this point, it's getting very serious. It's getting very serious. I've been using Fresh Face products for I don't know how long now. I think probably since like 2017 I had got it in a sample. The first thing I ever used from the Fresh brand was the Rose Face Mask. And y'all, this, this, this is literally the holy grail. Holy grail of hydration mask, y'all. When I tell y'all, so this is what I do. I wash my whole face get into it and then as soon as I rinse it off I put some on my face before I get in the shower I just let it sit on my face and then by the time I come out and just rinse it off my face is so hydrated and it smells so good y'all I'm not gonna lie I'm using more this tonight because I don't use this too often I probably use this probably like once a week I don't want to over overdo it it smells oh my god they're not cold fresh for no reason y'all it smells so good. So this is pretty much basically for smoothing and toning. And y'all, I don't know what they put in here, some type of crap, okay? I don't know what's going on, but this is something I can put my name behind and be like, look, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. This is raw. First of all, stop, stop. Let's zoom into my face. Now my skin hasn't been acting the best, but this is no filter. Y'all see how clear my skin is. I've been using this stuff for a while now, so if you don't believe me then, you're gonna believe me now. Yes. Along with the hydrated mask, I also use their face lotion, <clears throat> or as they would say, rose deep hydration, uh, what they call it, face cream, the classy way, right? Y'all, I have a mini to all of them, especially the nighttime cream, but I kind of don't see the point in the nighttime cream, so I just got it in like the travel size. Let me show y'all real quick. So if you was to get like, say, a sample, which this is accurate to what I got when I first started using a hydration mask, this is how they look. So this is the one that you use, I guess, in the daytime, and this is what you use at night. Um, These are cute. I guess I would definitely use these for travel, but I'm not gonna lie, the nighttime one smells really good, but here's the thing. If you don't got a coin to spend, these are really expensive. Fresh face products are really like pricey. This, I believe was, don't quote me, if I say this incorrectly, I'm gonna correct it in the video, but um, this, I'm pretty sure was over $50. This, and this, or was, no, I think this was over $50. So this is the 1.6 fluid ounce. So 50 milliliters, and this one is the 3.3 fluid ounce and 100 meters. 100 meters, 100 milliliters, sorry y'all. I'm all tongue tied today, I don't know what's going on. But this definitely was over $50. So you gotta make sure, I would honestly say start with the sample size, but then again, it's kinda like how would you know it works with the sample size, but y'all, unless you're willing to make that investment, there you go. So also from the Fresh Face products, I used the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. And I'm not gonna lie, I could've got the full size, but I was like, I kinda just wanna test it out or whatever. I got these in a bundle. So um, along with the serum, it's another one in there, but I don't really use it that much, so I didn't feel like I should put it in the video. But I do use the toner, but I only use it when I do, like I said, when I do the in-depth skincare routine, because it's just kinda like, I don't know. I honestly do not know, but I know I use it along with everything else, and everything is doing what needs to be done. So I'm not sure if it's like the combination. You know when certain things are kind of formulated the same with the same brand, it works better together than apart. So that's what kind of situation I feel like that's given. But Fresh Face products, please spawn to me. Okay, so next. Now yes y'all, I know there are so many lip scrubs out there and there's so many cute ones, especially the Fenty one because my friend had bought the Fenty one I wanted it so bad. But I had bought this one a while ago and I've been hooked on it for a while. So I bought this mini lip scrub from the Tree Hut collection because I use the Tree Hut for um, my body scrubs as well when I'm in the shower. Well, not so much anymore, but I still have a favorite. I just kind of ran out and started using something else. But this, the Tree Hut sugar scrub for my lips, my lips always look luscious, okay? And this really adds to your lips. And let me be real with y'all real quick. I smoke every day at nighttime only. And I don't want my lips to get black or nothing like that. And no, I don't be like wilding with it or nothing like that. But this really helps keep my lips hydrated. And I also use the, um, the pink Vaseline, the small one. That's my girl. That's the only Vaseline I use on my lips. 
the other one to like kind of leave out a white line and I, I don't I don't like that mm -mm, don't like that so now let's get straight into the body this is not really a face product but this if I did not use this item when I wash my face I would have never found love the way I did now I had to re up these are the sponges so basically this is a 50 count I got it from Amazon and basically it's the sponges that you put under the water it kind of looks like a little disc as soon as you put it under the water and inflates and then you it's like a mini sponge for your face when I tell you these are so convenient these are so convenient and they're disposable and honestly I feel like this is the easiest way to keep your skin safe you don't want to keep using a rag for too long and then to build the bacteria you know stuff everybody you know the whole thing behind that so I like that idea behind these sponges and you know they have uh pink ones they have um honestly all different types of shapes and colors and stuff like that but I like using a regular basic white ones because I want to see what's going on in my face if it's extra dirty in a certain area or if certain things are coming off I don't know I just like I feel like white shows everything better so I just stick to the white ones but y'all need to go on Amazon I think I got this for like 10 11 dollars for a 50 count definitely worth it so y'all gotta get y'all some disposable face sponges so now let's get straight into the body Uh, when I speak about these products, when I speak, are y'all listening? When I speak about these next two products, I need y'all to give me a full undivide because these, they have changed my life and I barely even used it, but it's my favorite because fine. I brought the two Fenty body butters. Now, what is the hype about? Why you going mad and like, why you acting like this is a billion dollars, some diamonds and then all different types of stuff. Y'all, let's talk about this one right here. So this is their limited edition vanilla body butter. And y'all, this, when I smelled it, cause I smelled it in the store, but I wasn't gonna dig in it and like use it. Cause that's mad unsanitary. But when I smelled it in the store, I said, oh my God. First of all, I'm like a vanilla fiend. I love to smell like vanilla. I love to smell like fresh, rosy, lavender. Like that's my go-to scent. And when I tell y'all this is the epitome of vanilla, it smells like shea butter with vanilla added to it, with sparkles added to it. Like the hydration in this, let me tell y'all something. I mean, it kind of looks even now, but I've only been digging out of the top. I wish y'all could really kind of see it, but I've only been digging out the top because I cannot find this. When I tell y'all one of the biggest regrets I ever had in life is the fact that when I picked this up, there was two left and I only grabbed one. That was one of the dumbest things I could have ever did because y'all, it has all, first of all, it's actually moisturizing because you know a lot of these companies talk about moisturizing and I'm like, girl, I got dry skin. I don't have eczema or nothing like that, but my skin is super dry and like cracky and I hate it. It's so like, I hate my skin. This body butter is so like limited dish. I cannot find it nowhere. I went to Sephora like three, four times after and nobody has it. I just have to wait for Rihanna to put it back in stock. Rihanna, let me tell you something. I'm not playing with you. I'm not playing with you. I need more of this butter. I need more of this butter. When I get the butter, I will fight somebody kid over this butter, okay? I need at least two to three more of these, and these are not cheap. These are like $40 or a little bit over $40. Y'all, I'm fighting y'all kids, so you better tell them to move, just like when they come out with the new Disney movies that these kids don't know nothing about. Move over. This is giving me like special occasion body butter. Special occasion only. This is the only, unless I get more, which I still won't even use it up on a regular basis, but this is given special occasion. I love that warm vanilla smell. Ooh, smells like black excellence, child, I swear. So this body butter is also moisturizing. However, it does not have the little shimmer and the sparkles in it, but here's a little hack, right? I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Shimmer Oil, and it's gold glitter, basically, and I kind of have the same thing with the, my um, European Wax Center body oil glitter thing I have going on. So if you wanted to add the shimmer, all you would have to do is put the body butter on and literally spray your body, boom, glitter is not that deep. But this one smells like spring. It smells tropical, it smells fresh, it smells it smells like you going out for brunch at the beach like it just smells so this is that one this is one I still probably wouldn't wear on a day-to-day -day basis but this is that girl too so if you don't want to smell like vanilla you can smell fresh and tropical so it's really all about preference but these two are gonna be brought out on different occasions just whatever gives it gives and that's what we're gonna do but we on hunt soon I'm, one of, I'm like one of those people, like when them sneakers come out and they buy like 40,000 pairs and resell them, that's how I'm feeling right now. But hold the resale, cause I'm not reselling nothing. When I get my hands on another one of these, y'all gonna be like, oh my God, it restocked. How is it all going already? Okay. 
Now, let's take it into the shower a little bit. One of my favorite things to do in the shower is exfoliate my skin. And honestly, I have dry feet too. So it's kind of like this helps not only make my skin super soft, but it gets the feet to not cracking, okay? I brought this from CVS, these little gloves. And I'm pretty sure you can get them anywhere, Amazon, Walmart, like they're everywhere. These are the perfect shower gloves. I'm not gonna lie, when I first used them, it was kind of a little bit rough in my skin. I don't know if it was because I just used it or I just like opened it or whatever the case may be. But once I felt my skin, Skin after I got out the shower, I said, Lord, you knew what you was doing. You knew what you was doing. And then these paired with this, the Dr. Tills body scrubs, whole different story. So I have the shea sugar scrub and shea butter and almond oil. And I have the shea sugar scrub and the rose oil. And y'all, these smell so good. Didn't I just tell y'all like smelling like rose and vanilla? It's so funny because I didn't put two and two together, but it's really the truth. But this one gives you, this gives you fresh, but it gives, I can't explain it. This is one I cannot explain. Okay, so everybody knows that Dr. Tills has like a distinctive scent. It gives me super fresh and clean, but still very warm at the same time. Like it's not peppermint or anything like that, but you just think of the shea butter and vanilla and coconut and all that stuff in a fresh version. That's what this one gives you. And this, I'm not gonna lie, me and my best friend was talking about it. She said she just doesn't see it in stores. I live in Atlanta and I see this in Kroger, I see it in Walmart, I see it in Target. Um, I see it in a lot of places, y'all. This shea sugar scrub is it. It's it. When I tell y'all this has my skin feeling so soft and exfoliated, and I know you're not supposed to do it every single night. You're not supposed to exfoliate every single night because you're gonna gain micro tizzing skin, but they do the damn job, y'all. Especially for my feet, especially with the, you know? And I put that on my feet, boom, I'll be good, y'all. I'll be great. All right, so now that we're done with that, let's talk about fragrances. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I did not re-up on my fragrances in so long, and I still have to, but what I have been using is my Dossier perfume. So let me just show y'all real quick. Dossier sponsored me probably about a year and a half ago, and some of these bottles are just now getting low, literally. When I wear a certain fragrance that I feel like is my staple, I just stick to that until it runs low and then I'm just kind of like, all right, what's new? And the fact that I had so many of them, I was like, okay, this would be for this time, this would be for that time. And honestly, it worked, but every single time I wore Dossier perfumes, I got a different reaction, but every reaction was, oh my God, you smell so good. And as a woman, that's just one of the best compliments we could get. Like, smelling good is one of a top tier requirements that you must have just as a person period especially a man because I love when a man smell good child love it but let's talk about it so like I said they sponsored me a few months ago and we do got a new collaboration coming on but this is not sponsored this is my honest thoughts and I'm gonna put y'all on so honestly I'm gonna show y'all which one I got the most compliments on so floral lavender is one of my favorite 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 scents as y'all can see like literally it's probably not even enough to fill up a bottle cap like it's literally gone and I'm pretty sure this was the dupe for YSL Libre and I was sitting here thinking like why don't I just go and buy YSL Libre if this was the dupe for it. A lot of other people who wore this fragrance did say that it smells exactly like it but it's just kind of like for example one of my favorite fragrances is Daisy by Marc Jacobs or Perfect by Marc Jacobs and one of these was a dupe for Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Now, I'm not sure if it was this one. I'm gonna put all the information so y'all know like which one is which, cause I could be wrong. But the one that I had that smelled like Daisy smelled like Daisy, but still had its own twist to it at the same time. So it's kinda like, I wanna go buy the YSL Libre, but it's kinda like, is it gonna smell exactly like how this smells? Cause I really like the way this one smells specifically. Like when I tell y'all, Oh my God, I got so many compliments on it. Oh my goodness, I had so many compliments. I remember one time, oh my God, I will never forget. One time I was in the elevator and some girl stopped me. She's like, oh my God, is that why it's so Libre? And I was like, mm-hmm. Like she don't need to know it's not here, but the, you get the point. You get the point, especially the girls who wear it. It's like how could you tell the difference? Especially because these are cheaper. Now, if you do not want to go spend a hundred something dollars on a perfume, eighty something dollars, sixty, whatever it costs. You could definitely get a Dossier perfume and you're gonna be equally as satisfied, y'all. I really love these perfumes. I have so many of them. And you know how you get a product, if you're an influencer and you get a product from somebody, sometimes if you like it, then you'll use it down. But if you don't, it'll just kind of be sitting here. And I love the majority of my Dossier perfumes, so that's why I just kind of wanted to give each one a chance and just see what it get. But every single perfume that I'm about to show y'all from Dossier, I got endless amount 
of compliments. And I do, I'm not gonna lie, I was about to say I don't overspray. I spray, I don't have to build it up too much, but I just, my, my finger just get a little twitchy on it. You know, you know, you know. Another one of my favorite scents was Gourmet White Flower, and this gave me pretty much like a more mature smell. Yeah, <clears throat> this is if I'm going out to dinner or I'm doing something more, you know, relaxed and chill. This was my go-to, and as you can see with this too, it is literally done. Basically, I have like a little swig left in here, but I'm gonna save that for a good day. I'm gonna be up, like I said, but I'm gonna wait until I finish. Cause one thing about me, yes, I could buy more and more and more when I don't need, but certain things I just be like, I'm gonna just wait until I run out and then I'm gonna go buy it. So another one of my favorite ones was the Floriental Brown Sugar. And this one, oh, this one smells so good. I'm pretty sure all of these has vanilla in it. All of these have some type of vanilla in it, so that's funny. And I'm not gonna lie, yes, I looked at, you know, the description of everything, but I haven't looked at it in a very, very long time. And that would make sense why I was kept using them, because y'all know I love vanilla, rose, and lavender. So it's just kind of like, boom, everything just makes sense, y'all. I'm a lavender girl, I'm a lavender girl. Now, Lastly, for the fragrances, this is my Future Rose perfume I got from Zara. If you know, you know. This perfume is my after I get out the shower perfume. Now, of course, I don't put on my body scrub. I don't put on my body wash. I don't put on my body butter, my lotion. Most of the time now, I do use my um, my baby oil, the thick baby oil, and I put it on while I'm still wet in the shower so my skin is like real lathering and stuff. Because when I'm in the shower, I feel like my skin absorbs the moisture when my skin is more wet, so I like to put the baby oil on while I'm still in the shower. You skip the whole step, because oh my God, is it draining when you get out the shower? Do you gotta put on perfume? Do you gotta do this, do you that? I do everything in the shower, and all I do when I get out the shower is put some damn clothes on okay yeah i use the this when i get out the shower when i tell you i smell so good it has my bed smelling so good do i need it no is it extra yes am i extra of course so it's just kind of like everything makes sense the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't don't am i the only person who does stuff like that like of course i put on my deodorant and stuff like that but am i the only girl that uses perfume before i go to bed let me know down below in the comments because i know i'm not the only i know i'm not the only one Let's get into the home fragrances now because that's something we need to talk about. Y'all know I do not play with my candles, child. So one of my favorite candles, I've been going crazy about, I'm talking Instagram, YouTube, every single thing, is the salt candle that I got from Target. This is about $20. All it says is salt right here. Now, if I would've sold this candle, I would've just kind of been like, I don't want no candle smelling salty. Mm -mm. Y'all know, y'all know what scents I like. But this candle smells like a five-star hotel, an up-class apartment building. If you've been, you know, one of the things I really love about my apartment building is every time you walk through that lobby, and when I tell you it's people walking through in and out the lobby, it's pets walking through and through the lobby, and y'all, it still smells so luxurious. And I almost want to ask them like, what are y'all using? Like, is it a plug-in? Is it, it's clearly not a candle because we would have seen candle lit. What are y'all using? And I just feel like y'all know that smell. Of course, all of them vary, but you know the difference between like a cheap smell and a real luxurious smell. This candle, I had to order it from the Target website because apparently this is a limited edition or like a seasonal candle. Last time I checked, it was available on Target and in the stores, so I don't know. But this candle is big as hell. It's literally the size of my whole palm. It got the four stems. And y'all, until I get about two more of these, I will barely be burning this. I literally burnt it like twice, which is why you can kind of see the wax on the top and you know, around the rim, but this, 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 burn this in your house. Burn this in your house, and you wanna know what's crazy? I found, out, I found out about this candle on TikTok. This girl said exactly that, it smells like a high class hotel, and I just immediately knew what smell she was talking about, and I said I had to get it, because I'm so picky with my fragrances, especially the way I want my house to smell. It's worth a try. Plus, I like to go in Target and just candle shop by myself. Like, certain things, like the way jeans fit, uh, candles, perfumes, like, certain things I like to be in person to smell them, just so I'll know because I don't play like that but this is something that I was willing to take the risk for and I'm telling y'all this is one of the best purchases I ever made for my house y'all go get this soap candle it's gonna be linked below one of my next candles that's near and dear to my heart y'all been using this candle for so long this is probably like I want to say my fourth one maybe is the Tahitian coconut vanilla candle by the Velospa brand and I got this from Sephora. This is probably like, I think like $30 or something like that. But y'all, look, you can't even tell. It's all the way down. This is the candle that I burn in my bathroom because I have a candle for every single different room in my house. And it just smells so 
hood. Like, I can't explain it, but first of all, it is super cute, number one. It is so cute, and it just fits the aesthetic. It's black and white, very simple. They have a few other scents, but this is the only scent that really caught my eye. Caught my eye, I think I only tried, like, I smelled probably like two of them and I was just like, eh, I'm gonna just stick to my vanilla. So that's what I love. And once again, this candle was $30. That candle was $20 and definitely worth every single coin. But if you don't wanna spend that much money on candles, let me show y'all some other options. So everybody that has been to my apartment knows that I'm gonna have a Chesapeake Bay candle burning, okay? This is one of my favorite ones. This is the Cashmere Plum. I think this was a, um, a special collection. The collection by Chesapeake Bay, so the collection is called The Collection. And it smells like, it's the Cashmere Plum, and y'all, this smells so good. The title really gives it away with this smell because it's like, it definitely gives a plum vibe. And once again, I love very clean, simple scents that's like not too overbearing, but it's gonna clear the room. This candle smells so damn good. This candle, I know for a fact this candle retails for under $20. I'm not too sure, I definitely have to check, but of course it's gonna be linked down below. This cashmere plum, fire, okay? When I first got my apartment and I was new to candles, my regular Chesapeake Bay Mind and Body candles, when I tell y'all these are my go-to, when I go sh candle shopping, these are the main candles I re-up on. Everything else is like kinda iffy, except for the um, vanilla one, but everything else, mmm, I might, I might not get it, but the Mind and Body candle, so this one is Peace and Tranquility. And it smells like, it kind of reminds me, this is a cashmere jasmine. So this smell will be related to cashmere and jasmine. And if you know what that smells like, this one will be for you. This is very clean, very soft, kind of warm, but it's kind of like clean and soft with a pinch of warm, but not too much. All of these candles are not too overbearing. I'm not gonna lie, the vanilla one, it's not overbearing at all. It's not overbearing, but every time I light that candle, the whole room smells like it, and it smells amazing. I'm not really the holiday candle type of girl. You know, the pumpkin spice and the Christmas this. I'm not really that type of girl. I just like things pretty fresh and clean smelling, to be honest, so that's my go-tos. And um, I'm pretty sure it's peace of mind, balance and harmony, and something in tranquility. I don't have that one. It's probably, I probably threw it away to be honest because all of these are done. Literally, you can see the burn marks. This is literally all I got left for this candle. But this is the balance and harmony. The description of this candle says water lily pears. So just imagine what that could possibly smell like. I'm smelling pear. It's not too fruity. It's like, oh my God, I wish I could explain it y'all. When you go to Target next time, go to the Chesapeake Bay section and smell all their mind and body collection candles. Thank me later. And don't say I ain't never put y'all on to nothing. These candles that I just showed y'all, the Chesapeake Bay candles are all under $20. Um, I think the most I paid for one is probably like $15 or $17 to be honest, but they vary in size. So you have this one being the biggest candle. So this one is also not necessarily covering my whole palm, but it's pretty big. So you have this one. Then you have this one, which, well, how much is the? So that one is the 11 ounce one. This one is the 8.8 .8 ounce one. And then they have a smaller, smaller version if you just want to test it out. So if you're new to candles and new to scents and you just want to try it, I would recommend you to buy the smaller ones, which of course is the cheaper ones. But it's definitely worth the try. I put all my money on it, y'all. I could bet all of my money, okay? I was gifted this next candle for my birthday, and this is the Mason Francis candle. This is the A La Rose. A La Rose. Bougie Parfum. Don't make fun of my accent, but yeah. That's this candle, and this candle smells really good. It's not something that I feel like I would jump off the wall for, like these candles, but this one smells really good and luxurious as well. So if you're one of those girls, who wanna sip one of them expensive candles. This candle was $80. I looked it up myself. This candle was $80 and I'm glad it was a gift shop because I'm not paying $80 for no candle. I'm not there, but that candle smells really, 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 really good too. Now, lastly, I decided to buy a room spray and don't ask me why I bought a, uh, don't ask me why I bought a room spray because I don't really use room sprays, but you can never have too many fragrances because you know, I'm gonna go crazy anyway, but I have bought this Serenity room spray. I believe it's from the Casa Luna. Uh, brand I got this from Target and this is mixed with sage and mint to encourage calm that's literally what it says and this smell kind of reminds me this scent kind of reminds me of 
a man's cologne, but not too manly, if that makes any sense, y'all. I don't know if that makes any sense. But this gives me, like, if you go to Target and smell this, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But this kind of reminds me of a man's cologne, so I try not to spray it too much because I don't want my grip smelling like a man. But it still complements the room at the same time. Like, it gives it a high-class type of finish as far as when you spray it and stuff like that. So I try to be light-handed with this, but y'all... This is made with essential oils, and I tried it, and I like it. Do I want to spray it down? No, but do I want to spray it from time to time, especially like when I first clean my room and stuff like that? Yes, so that's something I would definitely go with. So, oh my God, y'all, that is literally all I have for this favorites video, skin, body, and fragrance, okay? And I'm really looking forward to making more favorite videos because I know everybody wants to know like what I'm using for this, what I'm using for that. And like I said, technology, hair tools, whatever. If y'all wanna see it, make sure y'all let me know down below because I will be sure to give that to the girls. And yeah, how did y'all like this video? Which one was your favorite? Which one are you gonna go buy besides the salt candle? Because I'm not playing with y'all. The salt candle and the body butter from Fenty, y'all better go get it right now because I'm not even sitting here and playing with y'all. I'm gonna get it before you do if I catch it. So you better not. Okay, you, you better stand by. Stand by, you better lay low, for real. So, if you like this video, click that like button, comment down below, and let me know your thoughts. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos from Ma, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.